So getting into reaches. Reaches are really, really important. And I'll cover that even more in a moment. And how we reach can determine where we have expansion in our thoracic cage. So if we reach down below from about zero to 60 degrees, there's not a lot of scapular motion there. So we can get a lot of posterior expansion. We're basically getting all posterior expansion across the entire low back if we kind of increase uh, do a nice low reach. So it's one of the easiest reaches. Most people have zero to 60 degrees of true flexion uh, and can get some really nice breath expansion into the back body. So if you wanna see that, and then we also get some anterior expansion as well. So this is like a, just a nice reach here in the zero to 60. So it's a great place to start with reaches. The next one would be 60 to about 120 degrees. So as I'm here, the scapula then has to come into play and now has a relation, more of a relationship with the rib cage. And with that relationship, we have more uh, shape change happening in the front of the rib cage because the scapula are now coming in contact with the back of the rib cage, which helps us to expand more in the front. So we can use between 60 and 120 degree reaches to help us have some more anterior expansion. And then if someone has the ability to come into 120 and above, we can get some uh, you know, expansion down closer into this area, more in that abdominal area. And we can get some really nice expansion below the scapula in the back. So we can use those reaches up overhead for lower expansion ability, both in the front and the back. In addition to the flexion arc of the arm from zero to 60, 60 to 120 and 120 and above, we also can use our hand positioning. So if we have our hands facing um, down towards the floor, which is pronation, I had mentioned that our arm bone, our humerus internally rotates to pronate our hand. If that is internally rotating our scapula here, externally rotates so it comes and we, that's this outside meaning it's this joint that does that so it starts to come out drawing that medial border into the scapula there and then it comes into a little bit of adduction so it draws the scapula in towards the spine a little bit with doing that the scapula is now really beautifully in a relationship with the back of the rib cage. So if we have a restraint there, which currently is the scapula, it's going to not allow that to move as much, but it's going to allow some shape change into the front of the rib cage. So now we have this anterior expansion with that pronated hand. Maybe if you all wanna try that, just feeling that out as we Take our hand at any level here. I would say trying to do about 60 to 120 degrees just because the scapula comes into play in that range. So maybe a 90 degree reach here. You could even do the other arm if you've done one. Just placing the hand towards the floor. The scapula is now in that nice relationship with our rib cage. And as we breathe in, maybe we feel a little bit more expansion in the front body. So if I want more expansion in my front body, or if we want more expansion in someone that we're seeing in front of us singing, and it looks like one side is just really kind of stuck and compressing down and in, I can use that reach palm facing down and get some expansion right into that area. Have them up against a wall for another restraint in that back body, and that can be even better. So there we are using pronation for anterior expansion. The flip side, if I flip my hand up, this is supination. 
So now my arm bone, my humerus is externally rotating. The scapula now is internally rotating. So that outer part starts to come in, which means that medial border opens away from the ribs a little bit. So opening out away from the ribs, it abducts, so it comes out and away a little bit. So this is my scapula. It's going like that from my rib cage. So now it's opening up and allowing those ribs to expand back a little bit. So I can use my supinated reach to be able to have some back expansion, expansion into my back body. So very cool. Reaches, really, really important. And how we can shape, continue to shape change our rib cage uh, with using various reaches without even needing other restraints like our foam rollers and our balls and our towels and all of that. We can even use our reaches, how we position our hands in order to get and, and the flexion art arc to get shape change in an area that we're not seeing it in our students.